everyone, this is Mary Ann and these are my hands which you have seen like a million times before <laughs> and I just wanted to show you something new that I am using um, in my previous video I have shown you that I have moved out of the Filofax Savannah and into the Franklin Cubby with 1.75 inch rings now the Filofax Savannah uh, I have taken this out of storage so I can show this to you guys um, I love this binder, it's very very beautiful and as I have used it intensely for several months, it has grown more shiny and darker in some areas because I hold it like that, and sometimes like this. So it has grown dark in those um, areas, sometimes I carry it like that. So when my arm is bare, it touches this one and it has helped to make it darker. When I got this binder, it was this color and as I used it more it became darker so it's so beautiful but I overstuff it because I need a whole lot of things in my binder I didn't want to ruin this so and because uh, the the academic year is already starting and I'm heading a certain major project for work I needed more wing space so that's why I moved into the clean cubby again the Franklin Quest with 1.75 inch rings. However, once you have to put something like this size for months, intensely used it for months, going back to this binder is so cumbersome. It's this is this is huge. This is a giant binder that has worked so well for me in the past. I have high praises for this, I have nothing bad to say about this, except that I have already gotten used to this size, which I love, so using this again is so difficult, and although I love how it organizes everything, holding it and accessing it alone is getting to be a problem. But I did not want to keep using this, because um, with the way things are, I might end up wrecking it, because uh, of the things that I need the binder for. So, since this one has to be saved from me or from the destruction that I can possibly give it, and this one is too big for me, I have moved into ta -da, a day timer. Um, my sister was in the United States for two months for a training. She was in California. So I asked her to look into the Filofax Malden for me, but she didn't, uh, she can only find it online and I didn't want her to buy it online because if she purchases it online, she won't have any way to check the rings. And I taught her how to check the rings. And she couldn't find uh, any Filofaxes at all in any of the stores that she has been to. And she's not very familiar with what stores carry the Filofax. So I just said, oh, it's okay, you can buy me any binder that you have there. Um, just something to use, something smaller than the Franklin Quest, but something I can use to the max. Like I can throw this around and not worry about ruining it. This is not real leather. Um, just from the looks alone, you can see that it's not real leather. It doesn't feel like real leather. It doesn't smell like real leather. And the price is also an indication that it's not made of real leather. It's just $20. So <laughs> it's okay. I have no problems wrecking this binder at all. Although it looks to be quite sturdy. Um, so in this video, I'm, I'm just really just going to show you the binder because the setup is still the same as the setup that I have in my previous video. So I'm just going to show you the binder. It's made of a burgundy colored um, leather like material. But when you compare it to the uh, burgundy Franklin Quest, this one is much more brown than this. But this is not really brown because once you compare it to the brown, this one is really brown. This one is not dark brown because it it really is not brown. It has a reddish tint to it. So they call this, and it's listed as burgundy, but this one is more burgundy. So it has a slight or, or, or thin padding, as you can see from the video. 
and the stitching is uh, quite decent. It's it's straight and it's even, and there are no uh, loose stitches anywhere. And it has an embossing right here. It's made to look like stitches, but they're not. They're just embossing on the material. And um, it has a popper. And the strap is long enough to carry everything that I need to carry. And inside, it's covered with a black nylon material and a secretarial pocket. And it's made of plastic, black plastic, which is covered by the nylon material. And over here, you just have one pocket that is just big enough for business cards and credit cards. And over here, I have uh, some shot shot paper that I can use and it has an elasticated pen loop one pen loop that can fit my Paletto Lumio so all that is fine and the setup is pretty much the same except for two significant changes the first is that I am no, three significant changes. The first significant change is that I am using the Muji dividers with top tabs, which um, I have shown you before. Now, it works well because I'm using these additional credit card uh, credit card uh, holders from Daytimer and the plastic zip pouch from Daytimer, and they extend beyond the usual pages so if I have tabs on the side they will be obscured by these two uh, sheets so the top tabs work better for the size of the other materials that I have on the binder now the sections are this is still the me section and uh, right now I have the MW section which is which stands for married women because my third book has been released already we launched it last July 28 and the publisher has given me 100 copies to either give away or sell and um, I have already given copies away to those people who I have who, who have been so generous to me that I cannot 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 uh, find it in my heart to charge them for the book but all the rest are being sold and I have also put up a listing for it on my Etsy store because I am the sole author of it and I wrote the book so I'm allowed to according to Etsy um, and the book is this it's Married Women Short Stories by Marianne Mall it's published by the Ateneo de Naga University Press and it's classified as fiction so it's available for sale on my Etsy store the same one where you usually buy your inserts from me. Now, if you could just hold on for a while, I have to plug in my phone. I'm so sorry. Uh huh. I'm just around here and pulling out the cords so that I won't run out of battery while I'm making this video because I wouldn't know how to get it otherwise. I think it's charging okay so anyway yeah it's charging so anyway um there's this book that's available on Etsy and I am tracking the distribution of the 100 copies on this section and the next is the finance section and then I have my daily pages right here which you have seen a thousand times and then next to have the monthly section, calendar, all the way until December 2014, which reminds me that I have to print out the first six months of 2016. And then I have the journal section, and the medication section, and then the university section, and in this last section, it's just called etc. This one carries everything else warranties that have to be claimed, uh, return receipts for merchandise that has to be replaced with brand new ones, lists. Here I have a list of Jason Statham movies <laughs> for the time when I was sick and in order to cheer myself up I decided to go on a marathon movie watching of Jason Statham movies and then all other lists that goes into the last tab which is called etc. 
And then I have the page lifters that I made for myself. And then here is the personal size note paper that I have designed and made for myself, which matches the design of my business cards and has my contact details right here. So that's it. It, it has a slot right here. And that's it for the day timer. I did not use what came with it. It came with these. Uh, and I'm not going to use this. So I'm giving this away actually. If you have watched this video until this moment, then you will know that I am giving these away. This is composed of a cover page, just a, a little guide on how to use the day timer and how to be productive. And it has a sheet for personal information. And then um, there are there are monthly tabs for the monthly uh, calendars. And it's very nice actually because you can archive this per month. You won't be splitting the months if you archive them because there is a list here and the spread shows the entire month. And then you have the, the, all, the all the Januaries uh, from 2011 to 2017. However, the boxes are blank so you have to fill these in yourself. I think uh, they're do they, they did this daytime we did this so that they can sell these inserts no matter what year it is so that's one good thing about this format and at the back you have your uh, lines again for whatever and then you can archive them like that and then same thing for the rest of the months there those are the monthly uh, sections for this particular batch of inserts from day timer and then you have the reference section uh, which carries um, how much is your time worth um, I definitely cannot use that because that does not apply to me but you also have holidays observed around the world if you travel a lot for and you uh, have to deal with other people who live in other countries it might be helpful to you but I hardly ever do that and then you have the the yearly calendars from 2010 to 2015 and then you have the reference section for world time zones and that's it everything else is just an undated uh, diary and work record which I don't know what this is for I think this is these are the daily pages because you have the, the hours here, it's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and then an action list, an action list that says to be done today. And then you have the notes section. So these are the daily pages. This is what they look like. And then after that, let's see, this is still the same, right? And then we have this one. I don't know what this is for. I think this is also a daily section but it's a day on one page and if you compare it to this this is a day on two pages because you have your appointments here and then you have your notes here on the the day on one page you have your uh, appointments here and um, uh, more lines here expense record and to be done but that's for one day and this one is for a different day so this all actually comes with a day on two pages and the day on one page so that's kind of nice so you can have a choice on which to use because some days are more crazy than others and I should know <laughs> and then you have your address book and they're tabbed from A to WXYZ and then you have your ruled notepad with the backing that you can slip into the notepad pocket of your binder so this came with this date timer and obviously I'm not going to use these so I'm keeping this away to the very first person who comments um, at what point in the video did I start showing this you don't have to be exact with the seconds but you have to be exact with the 
minute. So just a, just a little little something that I'm, that I'm trying out with my subscribers. Uh, I'm giving this set of inserts from Daytimer away to the very first person who comments on what point in the video did I start showing these inserts. So there, that's a challenge for you. It's a giveaway. And so in this setup, what is actually missing, another major thing, the third major thing that is missing is that um, I no longer have here my capture pages and the directory for my day job, I no longer have them here. Instead, I have them in this little, little binder. It's personal sized and I bought this very cheap at a nearby office supply store. And it's not real leather because it's just like 12, 13, 14 dollars. But it looks pretty and it, it, it has a light padding and it actually looks more leather-like than this one and it's a dark red and it's actually quite nice it's made quite well and it has a detail a band that goes around which has a flap it has a magnet which you put through this one and then close it can be quite cumbersome but I hardly ever close it anymore because this never leaves the office so what I have here I don't have anything to put here and this is things I don't know things that I have to file for the office this one has a personal information sheet and here is the directory for my day job and here are my capture pages this is the graph paper that I love so much and these pages came with this binder and over here I just have a mechanical pencil for when I am dragged to meetings so there this one holds my address uh, my um, telephone directory for my day job and my capture pages which used to be in my main binder but I found that I don't really look at them when I'm not in the office so um, I put them in here and this stays in the office for ideas or notes or, or, or sudden things that I have to list down that's what the jot pads are for I can just jot them down here and then put them here or um, put them on the rings because they're already punched with holes anyway. So that's it. This is my current on-the-go binder. As you can see, it's overstuffed as usual. But one good thing about this binder is this one. What do you call this teeny tiny thing that you 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 press down to open the rings? They're big enough so that you can actually close them that way. Because with a file effects, like in the Safiano, this is too short and you, you open it that way, but when you have to close it, you have to do that. And when your binder is so full, you end up catching the paper in your fingers and it crumples them a little bit. It's not that significant, but it, it's a little bit annoying. And that's what I love about this, this one longer it's similar to the Franklin Covey one this one is so easy to open and close so the mechanism of this is similar there that's another thing that I love about this binder and the fact that I can throw it around and abuse it and not feel guilty at all that I'm destroying something so beautiful so what else to tell you? Actually, that's it. I just wanted to show you this, talk about this, and then talk about the giveaway of the day, day timer inserts. And um, oh, one last thing. I have moved out of the Franklin Quest binder with 1.75 inch rings because after you have worked with something as small as this for a very intense period spanning several months once you have already worked with this size no matter how stuffed it is going back to something as big as this is actually quite cumbersome the advantage of having really big rings is that you can have your entire life in here 
which you have to uh, access you have to have access to every day at any given moment that's the advantage of having these large rings but because it's a zipped binder it's actually taller and wind wider than other binders that have a strap closure so it, it adds to the size of it the width and the height of it and it's cumbersome already because I have gotten so used to something as small as this and this and well this so if you compare the sizes just look how 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 huge the difference is and um, it's hard to to adjust back to this size that's why I had to separate the two I had to take out the section which I don't need to look at when I'm not at work that's why I have my main binder and I have my office binder and I'm the one who kept saying that I will never be able to work with two binders at the same time <laughs> well there's always a first time for everything and let's see if this works then I'll keep the system as is but if it doesn't work then I have to shove everything back in here and wait until the entire binder disintegrates because of abuse or I can move back in here and just try to accept the fact that I cannot cannot function with small rings so let's see what happens so that's it I have discussed with you um, the file of Axitana, which I am now putting in storage and why I moved out of Franklin Covey and then the new day timer that I am using and the sections for it and the new dividers and my second binder which does not leave the office and my book and the giveaway okay so that's it thank you so much for watching until next time bye